My name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. Today I have a thread up unboxing. I buy things for cheap and I sell them for profit online. I usually go to thrift stores, but they are currently closed right now. So this is what I have. I have had decent luck with free inventory from my local community, but I thought I would change it up. This is my second rescue box. My first one was kind of a dud. Um, if you go back in my videos, I think two videos back, I got some denim and they are DIY, so there were flaws on them. However, I can only sell maybe half, so I will probably just make my money back. I'm not open this. I did break the seal, so I can open it. Here we go. I got t-shirt lot. I'll have to look at my invoice. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I don't know about you, but I've been doing a lot of online shopping for myself and my family. So I paid $28 for this. And it's the 25 shirt DIY t-shirt. So my plan is, if there's any flawed, that um, I'm going to attempt to do some bleaching with them. Okay, so they are nicely laid in here. I can't believe they fit 25 shirts in this box. Okay. Just my size. I believe this is Walmart. It does have a cute print. I would not thrift this, but this feels really soft. Mosimo, which is just Target. It's like just like rayon. It's a blue striped size large. I'll probably just keep that one. Here's a loft. This is like Y2K. It's shorter. V-neck. It's a light yellow. I have a pile that I will uh, just redonate that's going in there. Don't know this one, Wonder C. It's a small, it's a really pretty yellow. It's looking lighter, but it's it's a little bit darker than it's showing up. Here's Gap V-neck pink. So far I haven't seen any flaws. I usually don't find the flaws till I go to photograph them. This is the beaded top. St. John's Bay. It is pre pretty um, paisley. I'm trying to see if there's any loose beading. I don't think there is. Yeah, maybe $5. I don't know. Here's like a boat neck charter club. It's, it's a pretty... Um, like lime green. It looks kind of yellow on camera, but it's, you know, like, like a true lime green. Like, so far these shirts are in, like, new condition. But yeah, these are, like, brands I would not pick up. Morona from Target. This is really soft. It's a large. It's the Ultimate Tee. No boundaries. Walmart. New with tags, tie front shirt. I just keep that one for myself. Here's another boat neck. It's an active burnout tee from Old Navy. It's a small, it's like a gray and black. Here's another soft. Loose fitting shirt. This one's by Mosimo as well. Just keep that one. Man, this is kind of like, I can't sell any of this really, or I wouldn't have picked up any of this. Hi, Clark. Burnout Tea by Crown and Ivy. He was out playing in the rain. Mm -hmm. He skipped his nap today, so. This is a pretty like olive green. It's an extra large. It's just loose and flowy. It's by Old Navy if I didn't say that. What? Um, my 
clocks are there already. That's okay. fine. I, I, Here's a faded uh, Gap t-shirt. Here's a Banana Republic shirt. It's shorter. It's probably like 10 years old and it's worn so I can't sell that. So far, I wouldn't be able to sell any of these shirts for maybe $5. And I don't know that I really want to sell any of them. Yeah. Ugh. It's a bust so far. Here's just a plain gap. It's got like a little gathered area in the back. Here's Jessica Simpson lace up. What's it say? Desert Nomad with an eagle. It's cute. Yeah, it does have light filling though. I don't know that I would sell that. Here's a Gap striped shirt. It's pretty. Yellow and gray. Ooh, getting near the end of my pile. This will be a short and sweet video. Not so sweet because <laughs> unfortunately this one is not very good. Unless, you know, I could just have high expectations. Or it could be because uh, th this package was supposed to arrive like a week and a half ago. And so I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And so I think I let the anticipation build up. This is just another plain green tea by Banana Republic Factory. Here's Ruby Road. Some beading. It's pretty. I like the colors. Women's extra large. Not sure where that's sold, but I don't pick that brand up. Max. I don't even know what that is. And again, that's like 10, 15 years old. St. John's Day. This feels comfortable. Late August. I have a heard of that brand but it's a orange t-shirt we have the Florida Gators I might pair this with a pullover I have of theirs that I've had for almost a year and I can't get rid of it and I think it's by Nike this is cute forever 21 crop cabbage hem high neck top my niece would probably like this one. It looks like her. Okay. And like I said, it cost me 28. I did pay $6 in shipping. So probably be about a dollar 50 each. If you break it down, I will probably realistically only sell a few of them. I will keep some of them and I will donate the others. I give this a thumbs down. And I do not plan on purchasing any more thread up boxes. I, you know, um, I live in Illinois, so the thrift stores are going to be closed for the next month. However, I do have stuff in the garage that I have been fortunate to get that I will list. And then after this, I will go to the Goodwill outlet. This was a bust. But you know what? It sometimes is. Like, you take that risk, especially with the rescue boxes. It's their trash, pretty much. You will find a few gems that I've been told. I haven't gotten any yet. But, uh, this is a reality of it. It's just, you don't know what, you don't know what you're going to get. And I got a bunch of Target, Walmart, Gap. But, you know... I don't mind selling Gap or Old Navy, but most of these styles are outdated and not outdated like 90s streetwear. Like they, these are Y2K, not very sellable, unfortunately. Thank you for watching. I know this wasn't a, yay, I found an awesome item to sell and make lots of money. I lost all my money.
This is the life of reselling. You don't always win. Thank you for watching and have a great day.